Opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Buzz's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. We'll bring you toss news very shortly, DK. But before we do that, do you reckon it's it's one opportunity to give anyone who's in that squad an opportunity to play the game? Rahul Chahar is the one who might comes to mind. Yeah, you know I think Ishan Kishan as well. Um, I do think there's a lot of tired bodies, tired minds there, and there is no harm in taking a break in this kind of game if they really want to. I'm sure a lot of them are going to take a break post this for the T20s and the Test matches that's going to follow against New Zealand. So I can see a few of them starting here. We saw a few, uh, you know, injuries being taken care of. So all those things will come into play. You know, they can obviously give chances and have a look at whoever they want to, and uh, nothing will be said wrong to them because. At the end of the day, they tried hard. They played some brilliant games of cricket against two of the other lesser-known nations, but against two of the <clears throat> senior nations, if I may call them. You know, we didn't obviously stand up to the pressures that were there on that day. But overall, uh, a pretty disappointing campaign from India, and obviously a great opportunity for whoever is going to get a look in today. Just, I guess that that's where the serial killer things come comes from, Duli. Just when you think you've got everything out of the way, they're lurking and they're coming to your country again. <laughs> possibly, yeah, possibly. Um, I kind of agree with DK though, on, the, on the India front, with a, you know, with their selection policy. Um, Raul Chahar deserves a he deserves a game tonight. Do they do they let Ishan Kishan maybe keep? Um, do they keep Rishabh Pant behind the stumps? So, uh, there, there's changes if he does come in. Does he come in in the middle order? Um, he's always, you know, Virat Kohli's always said he go if he plays he opens. Um, and you know that was the that was the situation in that New Zealand game, wasn't it for India? Um, you don't make changes for changes sake but there are guys in that uh, bench uh, on that bench who have been sitting on that bench i think who deserve a game and um there's probably guys in that squad who deserve a rest as well and and, and i can see them sort of doing you know doing that and but still doing plenty enough to win the game and just from a toss perspective we'd obviously bring you the toss news how mentally do you approach a game like this assuming that now that virat kohli has obviously started winning tosses if he does win another one here again dk try and think of it as okay let's put some runs on the board which is likely to be an absolutely full length game or mentally if you're thinking can we have a shorter game with no disrespect to namibia i think they'll choose the latter isn't it when you were asking you yourself knew i thought they would choose the latter try and obviously play a pretty straightforward game of cricket finish it as soon as uh, you know um, it finishes i think uh, if I might use the word finish, the end the misery in many ways. I think it's been a pretty, uh, obviously, uh, disappointing long tournament, actually. After the first and second game, they had a week's break. So, it's been a long tournament for them. They've been on the road for a long, long time. The support staff, everybody's moving out. So, you know, a lot of people are obviously moving from <clears throat> one to another. So, we get the feeling that uh, hopefully India bowls first. And, uh, you know, it'll be as short a game as possible. Gautam, do you have anything for us today?